Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with a vegan food haul. So our fridge is almost empty and I was shopping and I thought I should film a food haul because you guys seem to enjoy these. So if you want to know what groceries I brought home today, then please keep watching. Now my food haul is here next to me on the kitchen counter and when we're done I will also show you how our almost empty fridge looks like, what's still there. And I would say let's start with these. I have here two avocados which I bought in a small family shop. There is a Pakistani family not far from our place and I like buying there my herbs and avocados, plantains and stuff that I probably also could get in a supermarket but I really like supporting small family businesses and I also find that their avocados are of a much better quality than what I get in a supermarket. So I have here two avocados and one thing that I also always buy there is cilantro so they have the best cilantro I can get it is always super fresh and I mostly buy one or two bags because not only I add it to our salads but I use it also for pumpkin soup and for our breakfast smoothie so I use this up pretty quickly then I have here um, pumpkin this is something I bought already in the supermarket so the first items I have shown you were the only out <coughs> items today stop barking at me <laughs> only items I bought at the family shop <coughs> He's constantly barking at me. He's so rude today. Why are you so rude? You should not bark at me when I'm filming. But could you be really mad at him? Look how cute he is. I love him so much. Can I film now, please? So, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my cute furry little beast. Um, that's the pumpkin. So, apart from the first items, which were the avocados and the cilantro, everything else is from a supermarket. And I really like buying pumpkin already chopped in pieces or at least sliced because I find it really hard to cut it and it's always kind of a lot of work and if I can get it already portioned or at least sliced then I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna cook pumpkin soup tomorrow and I already have a recipe for that so I will link it down below. I have here also soup greens um, that sometimes I also like buying there as a piece of celery, some carrots parsley and garden leek and I always buy the small package because I mostly cook only a certain amount they have also bigger packages but that's just that's just too much so um, garden greens for the pumpkin soup and then I have here scallions I love scallions I like them in our salads then I have here uh, bell, bell peppers now he's barking again what is wrong with you today so these are the um, bell peppers I personally find that they do taste different uh, when it comes to the color of the bell peppers. I find that the green ones are definitely a little bit spicier, I would say, but I have no personal preference, so I buy any bell peppers they have mostly in a pack of three because they are a little bit cheaper than when you buy them um, separately. Then I have here portobellas, of course, because I just love mushrooms and Jack loves mushrooms as well and I add them also to our salads so we can't not have mushrooms in our fridge. And then I have here some tomatoes, um, one of my favorite fruit or veggies, whatever you want to call them. I know there's a discussion, is it a fruit or vegetable, who cares, I just like tomatoes. I also bought some pasta, we do not eat pasta that often but I find it always great to have at least some pasta at home for cases like when you come back from work very late and you are too lazy to cook anything else and if you have some kind of a sugo and pasta then you have a really quick dinner so I have this spelled fusilli I like those spiral pasta things a lot sorry Hercules I have to make sure that the fam camera will focus um, yeah they are also whole grain and I really like the taste and then I have here spaghetti these are just basic spaghettis and they are super inexpensive and they do not say specifically that they are vegan but if you look at the ingredients there's just the flour and water and that's pretty much it so definitely a great pasta and these are super cheap actually because this is a whole kilo and I think I paid about 60 cents I have to look the price up and I will write it somewhere here on the screen then I have here two sugas, so I have the sugar classic, um, there is just tomatoes and some other veggies and it's without garlic. I like garlic so I simply add it to the mix when I cook my pasta 
and that one says specifically that it's vegan then i have here one that says vegetarian bolognese but it is also vegan if you look at the ingredients so these are the two sugos we very often have at home I also bought those two packages of coconut yogurt. This is our favorite brand. It's called Harvest Moon and they recently introduced also this uh, big um, jars which is awesome because this is less packaging than when you have those teeny tiny little jars and I think it's also a little bit less expensive when you buy it in this size. I absolutely love the taste of coconut yogurt Although I have to say the coconut yogurt here in Europe tastes a little bit differently than the yogurt that I had in the States. I find that the coconut yogurt in the States tastes less like coconut and you can taste the coconut a little bit more here, but it's still a nice unsweetened neutral taste. We like to put it on our um, wraps, also on our crouch strudel. By the way, I have a recipe for crouch strudel, which I will also link down below. And in general, we also like it for our pancakes because when we eat pancakes, we put a little bit of the coconut yogurt on the pancake and then fresh fruit and then agave syrup. So we always have um, coconut yogurt in our fridge. And today I have also discovered one that is made of almonds. So I haven't had this one yet and it's also unsweetened and it's just natural yogurt because I do not like the sweetened uh, kinds. So we'll see how we like it. So that's the other yogurt that I bought and I bought the big, um, the big jar also. I don't think they even had the small one, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna use it up anyway. If you don't like it, then I'm gonna make a cake and I have a cake recipe, which I will also film in future where I need to use a non-dairy yogurt anyway. So that would be a way to use it up if we do not like the taste as much as we like the coconut yogurt. Next I have here kidney beans. This is one of my favorite kind of beans. I actually love black beans a lot, but they do not have them in cans here in Vienna, so I mostly buy uh, kidney beans. I also bought today chia seeds because this is my favorite egg replacement, so I use them for my pancakes and in general for baking. And I have here two sheets of puff paste. Um, this is the house brand of the supermarket where I bought them and the good thing is, is that they started also writing on the products whether, whether they are vegan or not so you do not have to go specifically through every single ingredient which is very convenient. So I have two sheets for the kraut strudel I've been talking about as I said a uh, link to the recipes down below. I plan on doing it I think in like two days and for that I have here also a smoked tofu. That's also something I need for the strudel. They have two grades of smoked tofu and this is the one that tastes a little bit stronger. Um, so I picked this one because I really like it. Next I have here Saitan. This is Jack's favorite source of vegan protein. He really likes it. I do not like it that much but I still enjoy it so I cook it quite often. So I either slice it um, in little strips or I cook it as it is in those larger slices. And then I have here a regular tofu, which I will probably cook tonight because I feel like eating rice with veggies and tofu. And then I have here only the sauerkraut for the sauerkraut strudel. This is also the house brand, super inexpensive and it's a really good sauerkraut. And last but not least, I bought uh, a peppermint tea because since it's getting a little bit chillier, I started drinking tea again. I really like peppermint tea. This is probably my favorite kind of tea, so it had to come home with me. So usually I would also buy bananas because we drink every single morning banana smoothie in the morning and for that we use up, up to six bananas depending on the size. But next to our office is also a small family business where we buy the bananas and he starts barking at me again. What is wrong with you today? So we rather support the small family business, so Jack's gonna bring bananas later. Now let's have a look at our fridge, what was still here before I went shopping. So this top shelf is kind of a mess because things started piling up over the summer. We had some guests, people brought things with them and they didn't get eaten up. So we are going to, fin uh, to visit my parents on Friday. I will definitely pack everything that is not vegan and bring it to them so that they can finish it and the things that are vegan can stay here but we will need to start eating this up because I really hate wasting food. 
a thing, one thing that will definitely be finished very soon, probably even tonight, is the coconut yogurt and there are some leftover berries from yesterday because we had pancakes for breakfast. And this is unopened. I have here a vegan cream alternative. So yeah, that can stay here for a while because these things last pretty long. Here we have opened tortillas. We will probably finish these tonight because I still have some leftover salad. I made the salad today for lunch and this is still left. So I will roll two tortilla wraps with it, with a bit of coconut yogurt, and then we will see how hungry we are. If that's not gonna be enough, we have here some leftover sugo. So I can cook a bit of the pasta that I brought today and we will finish this up. Then there is a can of puppy food. So this is the just a half because Hercules always eats half of such can and he had the first half this morning so this is for tomorrow. Then I have there some jelly, um, unopened uh, pickled red beets and already opened uh, red beets so I will bring these to my parents. And there is some non-vegan chocolate. A dear friend of ours did not understand that being vegan means also not eating dairy products. So she brought us these chocolates so I will give these to either my parents or to some friends who are not vegan. I have still one garden leek and three pieces of scallions. Then I have a few tomatoes here and a few pieces of broccoli. So I will throw these into my pumpkin soup just to use them up. I have here two limes. I mostly use half of one lime for my salads. And then there is Turkish garlic and one red onion. So I always have things like that at home. There is still some cilantro left um, from this morning. I used up some of this for the salad, so we will use up the rest for our smoothie. And there is some green salad mix. And then there are the two bottom drawers. So I have here a few carrots and some vegan jerky. It's made of soy. It's actually pretty good. I used to eat that a lot um, when we went vegan but now I don't crave it anymore, so I still have it left and I have to check how long it is good for so that it wouldn't go bad. And then I have here some potatoes and a few kiwis for our smoothie and that's it. Well, and in the door shelves, there is, for example, vegan butter and tomato puree. Then there are condiments. I have here some hot sauce, tamari sauce, wasabi and stuff like that. And then we have here ketchup, a bottle with soda. Um, Jack really likes to put a bit of bubbles into his water. We have soda stream, so this is what he has here. Then there is rice, chia drink and a juice. I think it's a tomato juice. And then on the bottom is again a ketchup, another soda and there is a bottle of sect that no one drinks because we do not drink alcohol anymore. So, and this is it for today's haul. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, just write them in the comments. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumb up. You can also share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. I have linked down below my playlist Vegan Food Diaries and also all of my Instagram accounts. I have linked down below also my DIY uh, channel if you're interested in creative stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye. Bye.